Breaking news, a terrifying attack in Australia. That's right, Amy. A driver rammed into a crowd of holiday shoppers during rush hour on a busy street in Melbourne, injuring more than a dozen people. Right now, police have called the attack deliberate, and that driver is now under arrest along with another person. And our foreign correspondent, James Longman, has the very latest for us this morning. Good morning, James. Amy, good morning. Police are saying they still have no clear idea on motive, although the suspect's mental health issues are being raised. Whatever his reasons, this is yet another deadly attack in a major Western city. The white SUV plowed through crowds as they crossed this busy street, barreling across an intersection filled with pedestrians. At least 19 injured, several of whom are in critical condition. A preschool aged child rushed to the hospital with a head wound. At this stage, we believe it is a deliberate act. Can I repeat that? At this stage, we believe it is a deliberate act. However, we do not know the motivation. Witnesses say the SUV ran through red lights, veered onto rail tracks before seemingly deliberately taking aim at those going about their day. I saw people running, turned around, um, saw people just scattered on the road. Some of them were just non-responsive. He made a collision with the people, but he also made a collision with obviously a pole or like a curb. Uh, lost control of the vehicle, it crashed. And I saw um, a man getting arrested outside of the Jeep, maybe 30 years old. They say the perpetrator is of Afghan descent with a history of mental illness. One witness posting this video saying this is the man who rammed into pedestrians. There was one sole person in the car that was the driver. That's the offender we have in custody. And there was also another 24-year-old male in close proximity around that time. Was seen filming the incident with his mobile phone and also had a bag that had possession of some knives in it. He was taken into custody to determine whether he was in fact connected with the incident. At this stage, we don't believe that to be the case. It's just really scary, obviously. The area is still on lockdown. I heard what I thought was shots. Cars just run straight through the crowd. A similar incident took place just around the corner from here in January. That killed six people. As a result, concrete blocks were installed to prevent these sorts of car attacks, but they didn't manage to stop this one. Amy? All right, James Longman, thanks so much. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.